Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. Uh, the problem reads uh, the 50 kg block A is released from rest and determine the velocity of uh, 15 kg block B in 2 seconds. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics uh, 14th edition by RSC Ibella. So we have a system okay, of um, interconnected uh, uh, cables through pulleys and we are assuming pulley D is weightless and there is no friction okay, between the cable and the pulleys. Uh, we are going to use a number of concepts here to solve this particular problem, kinematics, you know, static equilibrium and uh, dynamic, dynamic equilibri equilibrium. Okay. So let's use kinematics here to relate the motion of uh, the position of each of uh, these particular points. We relate B to A so that we are able to find acceleration for B as well as for A. And once we've done so, also the tension, then apply the equations of motions to find uh, acceleration which we use to compute our velocity. Right, so let this be our reference again. This is our reference. This is our reference here. Uh, this will be the position for B, okay, and this will be position for A. All right, and going down is going to be my positive reference. Okay, we know to say they are not going to be going down, both of them, but that's my reference. Okay. All right, going down is a reference. So we have here SD, we have SA. Um, let's write down the equation that relates the whole cable to the positions B and A. So we have, um, let me call this SB, okay, directly. Okay, because D is directly linked to B, so I can call this SB. So let me say this is going to be equal to 3SB, 3 of them, plus SA is equal to the total length. <coughs> I know you are like, mm, total length, how can it be? Is this part that has remained? Yes, we know we have left this part, but this part is constant. And this part here, so we can leave them the way they are. They are constants because once we take the derivatives, they all be zero. But if you want, we can include them. Uh, but once you take the derivative, they'll still be disappear. So first derivative there will have three vb plus va. This is a constant; is zero. We are taking derivative with respect to t time. S second derivative there of sb or first derivative of vb will have the acceleration like so okay equal to zero i mean uh, a there equal to zero so if you wanted to you can write this as a a, a, a is equal to minus 3ab okay great so we have found the relationship between the acceleration of a to be. Let's now find the, 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 the tension here, okay. Um, again, this particular system is in motion, okay. It's not in the static equilibrium, it's in motion, it's moving. So then we know that the tension in this cable here, all right, Tension here will be here will have if this is t here, you will have t t there for there. We are going to have three t. You agree? Mm -hmm. So let's section those parts so that I show them. So let's section this part and this part and this part. We show them. Let's do a section. Once we do a section, then we're going to have something like that. All right, let's write down what I was just talking about. So if you have tension there like so, then uh, there we are going to have the same tension because that's the same cable going around that pulley like so. 
okay like so and then connected to that point like so so those points becomes if you have t here then we'll have t there we'll have t there we'll have t there I agree then this becomes 3t right then this becomes 3t and then we do have the weights of this the weight of this one as well as this one okay so this one we are going to say is our wb which is just equal to mb uh, g and this is just equal to this is b this is 15 by 9.81 and wb is therefore just equal to 15 by 9.81 this gives us a 147.15 newtons. This one is WA, which is just equal to MA times G, and this is just equal to 50 times 9.81. Therefore, WA is just going to be equal to 50 by 9.81. This we get a 490.5 newtons. So we have those sets of equations. Uh, so we need now to apply the equations of motion or dynamic equilibrium equations. So let's start with block A. Okay. Again, it's really up to you which block to start with. You don't have to really start with block, block A. So again, positive is going down. Our motion positive is going down. Okay going down like so okay this is our positive and so we have uh, wb which is just 147 okay so we have wb okay minus 3t equal to mb ab and this is just 147 point one five this is we said a sorry so w a minus t equal to m a a a so this is just 490.5 minus t equal to our a is a 50 a a then block b uh, block b we are going to have the following in the similar fashion we'll have wb minus 3t equals to um mb ab and this is just equal to 147.15 minus 3t equal to uh, 15 ab Okay, so let's plug in this value here. Let's plug in this value uh, there. Okay, if we do so, then we are going to have the following will have 490.5 minus t. Okay, this just becomes a y minus 150ab. So we can solve the two equations. So what I'll do is I'll multiply this by 3. I want to get rid of T so that I find my AB. Then I'll subtract them. So let's use uh, the substitu substitution method. Remember it? Mm -hmm. We are subtracting. The idea is we get rid of the T. I just want to find AB directly so that we use it to calculate our velocity. So what we have, we have 147.15, we are working out this, okay, these are the ones we are working out, uh, minus 3 by 490.5, okay, um, is everything okay, mm -hmm. everything is fine, so this Minus that, the part goes, then we'll have a 15 
a b uh, plus minus and minus 3 by 150 a b okay so let's work out a b we make a b subject of formula let's work it out so 147 point i mean point 0.15 minus 3 by 490 3 by 490.5 have a minus then we have 15 a plus 3 by 115 all right so we have a minus a minus just indicates direction is going up that is for b 85 85 meters per second square so we found the acceleration for a b and once we have the acceleration for a b we can now use this to compute the velocity e of block b in two seconds and this acceleration is constant okay therefore we can use those derived equations for constant acceleration so we have time we have velocity and we want we have time we have uh, acceleration and we want velocity so we'll say our v is just going to be equal to v naught plus act okay where our V node, this is starting from rest, therefore it is zero. We have our AC, which is what we calculated, negative 2.85 meters per second. And we have T, which is two seconds. Therefore, our VB, our VB is just going to be equal to, and it's minus minus 2.85 by two. So this just becomes a 5.70 meters per second. Therefore, our VB is 5.70 meters per second and it is going upwards. Okay. It's going up. Right. So uh, we have calculated our VB. This is our VB. Um, this is our VB, which is going up. So this one is going up. VB is going up. Uh, A, we expect it to be going down. So I think this is really about it. This is really about it. If you want, you can go ahead and calculate T and so on and so forth. But that was not part of the problem. So I hope this video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and uh, sharing my channel. Bye-bye and I'll uh, see you in my next uh, screen.